attention to the first of all, I am so happy to be here today to name this street after Sergei Dumbledore. It is my pleasure, and especially since I heard just today that this is the street, first street that is being named after a Russian person. And it is my pleasure to be the first to do it. I have to tell you that in 1991, when the Russian community started coming into the Forest Hills Rico Park area, the first thing I did was to befriend them because it was very unique. My mother was an immigrant and came here from Poland. My father was born here, but his family came from Russia. So I understand the plight that people had when they first came into to America. I remember people coming to my office who were teachers, who were doctors, who were dentists, who were lawyers, scientists, and they couldn't get work here. They had to start from scratch. And wow, that's all I can say is wow, how this community has grown and has fit into being here, and it is my pleasure to serve the people of the Russian community in my district. You have been there for me, and I'm here for all of you. And I just want to say, I want to thank everybody for attending this event. We are here today to celebrate the life of Sergei Dovlatov through his work, he was the voice of Russian-speaking immigrants who arrived here in the waking years of the Soviet Union. Dovlatov exemplified what we admire in people who immigrate to America. He came here to escape injustice and the ability to share his work freely without judgment. I would like to thank Sergei Dovlatov's wife, Elena, daughter Catherine, and son Nicholas for introducing me to the life and works of this uniquely talented author. Along with so many supporters and members of the Russian community here today, we have in spirit near, nearly 13,000 individuals from across the globe who signed onto an online petition to Sergei Dublin of Way. And now I'd like to call upon State Senator Toby Stavisky to say a few words. First, uh, let me thank the councilwoman for being the leader in this community, but the leader of everybody. We are an inclusive community. Uh, we are a community of immigrants. I represent not just Forest Hill and Rico Park, but Elmhurst and Washington. Immigrants. We have become a land of opportunity. Uh, I had the opportunity to visit uh, Russia about three years ago in Leningrad. Uh, I'm sorry including St. Petersburg, which is a beautiful city. It's where the family came from. And as I was coming here, driving this morning, I was struck by the contrast of the beauty of St. Petersburg with the museums and the art and the oppressive nature of the government. And that to me is a sad commentary on what happened in the 1950s and up to the 1970s. And yet, we have become the hope and the opportunity for other people. And to honor a writer, to me, that is more important than honoring almost anybody else. Because writings continue from generation to generation. And may everybody pass this street and then go to the library and look 
look for his books, because that is the way that you perpetuate somebody's legacy. When I came back from Russia, uh, I, my suitcase was so heavy with books that had been given to me and books I had purchased. And what did I do with them? I brought them to the library so that the, the, the other people can read them, because frankly, I cannot publish them. But I congratulate you all for honoring a writer and the, the council motion for spearheading uh, uh, the street in that code Okay, and now I'd like to call on some community leaders. I can't call on everybody, but if you want to come up and say a few words, please do. Who wants to talk? Sir? He said he wanted to talk. No, but do you want to say a few words? I'd like to say just a few words. That the only mission in renaming this place is five five letters, it should be the lot of Broadway. This gentleman right here. Alright, sure. You want to say... Okay. I'll just say a few words real quick. I think we have come a long way. My name is Alex Rubin. I was one of the people who started this initiative and uh, it was about two years ago when uh, me and my friend Alex, um, we had a conversation about commemorating the blood and uh, I would like to thank him first of all because I think without his inspiration it wouldn't come true. Uh, I would like to say very special thank you to uh, New York City Council member Charles Cousins. Thank you very much for supporting us. Uh, across the ocean there was a lot of support coming from the ex-Soviet Union from other countries. Uh, the blood of is very famous. It has been translated to over 20 languages and uh, people from all over the world they embraced our idea. They all came together to do it. Uh, I was frankly overwhelmed by the amount of signatures that we received on the petition, the amount of letters that came to you, uh, and um, I think that shows that the Russian classic writer, uh, he basically transcended all countries, all. Uh, different languages and united the people and uh, that's what's important in today's world. Uh, it's such a positive world energy project that we did that I think uh, all of us will be remembered for making this dream happen and uh, it's just a wonderful feeling. I remember Friday when I was here and I saw the sign on the post and it's still covered. Well, unbelievable. So thank you all for supporting us, and uh, I'm glad that we have it here in our community. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dmitry Belyovinsky. We came here with a group from pretty far away, Russia's Living Community Council of the in the Bronx, because this is a celebration for an entire city, for an entire Russian American community. Sergei so, Davlatov was a great, uh, that with his generation who wrote very important things about the dignity of immigrant and uh, the struggle to restore this dignity after a uh, very difficult move from native country. And we are very grateful for the for our friends in Queens, to Alex Rubin and all those who uh, made this happen. Uh, it's a great uh, event for our entire, entire Russian American community and entire country. Thank you. Uh, I would say in Russian, okay?
Я хочу, меня зовут Рафаэль Никталов, я главный редактор газеты Харин Таймс и член города номер 6, который возглавляет Карен Казловец. И мы все очень благодарны, в первую очередь, семье Давлатова, от всей нашей бухарской еврейской общине Лени Давлатовой за ту память, которую они слали. Это семье Марксира а, Давлатова стала издательским домом для многих бухарско-еврейских изданий, газеты МОЗ, журнала «Надежда». Мы приходили туда и черпали знания, вдохновения. Я хочу сказать, что то, что участвовал в бухарской акции, большая благодарность именно семье Давлатова за то, что они сделали для бухарской еврейской общины, находясь в этой эре, помогая друг другу, поддерживая нас. Я хочу вот здесь большую благодарность Лене Давлатовой. Давайте ей поаплодируем. Спасибо, Лена, за то, что вы нам сделали. Two. 
Three. Four. 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 Four.